I had been living in Mexico for the past five months and had stayed in the town of Playa del Carmen for too long, so now I was about to head out somewhere else. A lot of places had started to open up again, so I wanted to go further down south in the country. Hello, I'm packing now to uh, move out actually from uh, Playa del Carmen. So I pack my bag in about 10 minutes <laughs> and it's time to go. My bag with all my belongings only weighs 10 kilos, which is about 20 pounds. I'm here now at the highway and I was gonna take the bus to go down to uh, the very south part of Mexico, a town called Chetumal. Here comes the Colectivo. I got on the Colectivo bus to head into the bus station in town and changed to a bigger bus there. I was still on the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, but was heading down south to the border of Mexico and Belize, where you also have the neighboring countries Guatemala and Honduras. The bus ride would take five hours, and I was going through some really green areas of the state of Quintana Roo. After five hours, I had finally arrived in the town. I came into uh, Chetumal and now I'm gonna go to a hostel for the night. Stay here maybe until tomorrow. I took a taxi and went into a hostel that only cost me 11 US dollars for a night. I'm here in this hostel and uh, it's actually right on the border to the country of Belize. So I went all the way down uh, today on the bus. Here is the kitchen area. Tomorrow I'm going to show you the town of uh, Chetumal and there are some lagoons actually also here. I'm going to try to get a bike and uh, go out to some of the lagoons and then uh, yeah, that's it. I woke up to a town without any tourists and it was nice to see the real cultural Mexico. I had rented a bike and I was on my way down to the ocean. Hello everybody and welcome to the beach, or not the beach, but the coast of the town of Chetuma. So I'm gonna do some exploring today, as you can see, the water is not nearly as nice and clean here as it is further up north in the Yucatan Peninsula here of Mexico. The town is located kind of in between a harbor, so I think that's why, because the water kind of stays in here and then it gets dirty. So. If you come here to, uh, for the beaches, then uh, it's actually not a great success and not a great place to go to. But if you come for the culture, then it could be a nice alternative to uh, the other popular travel destinations here in the Yucatan Peninsula. I was spoiled by the amazing blue water I had previously seen in Mexico. But here in Chetumal the water was really dirty. However, there were some nice palm trees along the ocean. the country of Belize so I'm actually now here right by the border between Mexico and Belize but in this area we have some really nice lakes further up so I'm gonna take my bike and see if I can get to one of the lagoons uh, which have really clean blue water so let's uh, go further up and uh, see if I can find it now I was on my way up the road to see the magic lakes that you can find in this region of Mexico. It's gonna be a long, long ride, about 15 kilometers <laughs> up to one of the lakes. I came out on the highway. It's really, really hot outside. I got six bananas and uh, a bottle of water. Hopefully that will be enough for uh, my 30 kilometer ride. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't go for so long, I still have a, an ear infection actually, but I feel really good actually, I don't feel sick. So, let's see if I can make it. Oh, it's in the middle of the day, the sweat is dripping, really hot, but I think I'm almost there. 
probably only have a few kilometers left. Oh, I came into the lagoon. It's supposed to be this really, really blue lagoon, but I think uh, because of the recent uh, tropical storm, <laughs> it's not very clean. I saw some pictures online where it looked really blue, but uh, I'm really happy to be here, so I'm gonna jump in and cool off. The recent storm had made the usually blue and clean water murky, but I was really excited to jump in after my long bike ride. Now I have another 15-16 kilometers uh, bike ride back, about 10 miles. It was so hot but it felt really amazing to jump into the water. Very very nice. back to the town of Shettumal now. Let's go back. I was going through a small village with old houses and every person had a smile on their face. I've seen a lot of places in this world now and I always see the happiest people in small poor villages. I've just been going through town here and everyone is so happy. I can guarantee you that almost every single person here is much more happy than people that live in uh, civilized countries. All these places where you uh, need so much stuff to be happy, you know. Here they have nothing almost and they are super happy. Everyone is super happy. It's the same thing I've seen in other countries, poor countries or poor places. People are really, really happy. The materialistic things makes life hard for people. Because uh, you have stuff and you just want more and more and more. You think if I buy the next thing, then, then I will be happy. And uh, it's actually, um, it comes from advertisement, I think, that we see on social media and TV, you know. Just buy this, buy the latest iPhone, you will be really, really happy. Buy uh, the latest car and you will be happy, 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 happy. You need to buy things to be happy. You need to have uh, a lot of things, nice cars to impress other people that you actually don't really care about, you don't need to impress anybody, but that's the, the world. The Buddha said if you cling to nothing then you have nothing to lose. And that's true because if you have a lot of uh, materialistic things that cost a lot of money with a lot of value, you'll be sad when they break and then uh, you lose it. So uh, that's why I think if you don't have anything of value really then uh, what is there to lose? Oh, I'm almost back. Really, really hot and sweaty here. Came back to this hostel. I'm making some food here now and uh, then I don't know what we're gonna do here in the shit tomorrow. I made my usual pasta dish. It's really cheap and healthy. I'm here on one of the roads here in Chetumal and I came back here from my bicycle trip not too long ago but I wanted to show you a little bit more of the town so you can see what it looks like. Chetumal is the last town in the Yucatan Peninsula at the border of Belize. You can actually take a boat and go down to the famous town of San Pedro in Belize from Chetumal. The town has a population of 150,000 people. This is not the typical town that I would visit, but it was nice to see all the local people on the streets. you're looking for beaches and nice tourist attractions then this is definitely not the place to go to but you 
can see more of the true side of Mexico, I think, here. And uh, since there are no tourists, almost. This will be the end of this video, but thank you very much for watching it. Please leave this video a thumbs up and post a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.